Well, welcome back, folks. Today we are discussing the best and the worst neighborhoods in Lubbock. Now, technically speaking, everybody, hold the phone. It's illegal for me to tell you the worst neighborhoods and be like, this is the worst neighborhood. But what I can do is I can relay information that I've public information that I found on a website that says what they say. We are referencing a couple of articles here and I will link them in the description below, but let's just get down to the nitty gritty. Okay, number one, bump -rum. We are going to be talking about, that's right folks, Lake Ridge. Now Lake Ridge is a very esteemed neighborhood. It's at the beginning point or in the hub and central area of where like everything's kind of moving south, the path of progress. It's close to everything. Everything 98th Street has to offer, everything 82nd Street has to offer. People really like Lake Ridge Country Club. That is where a lot of folks go play golf. It's a great golf course. It's not my favorite in Lubbock, but it's still really good. And it provides a decent enough challenge. You got a Capital Pizza down there. There's two in Lubbock, one in Tech Terrace, one kind of in this area, a beautiful Starbucks right over there. There's just, there's a bunch of newer restaurants but also more established stuff. Like they keep it very fresh over there. If someone moves out of a business, of a building there or whatever, a new business is gonna come in and fill its shoes and probably succeed where the last one failed. Just because there's so many people around there and it's got so much going for it. Also the lots in these neighborhoods, it reminds me more of like a Dallas type feel where the houses are a bit older, but they're all bigger. There for some reason are a lot more trees in this neighborhood than really anywhere else in Lubbock. And if you've been to Lubbock and visited, you know there's hardly any trees. But this one and like a neighborhood like Tech Terrace have a lot of trees, which is a huge plus for Lubbock. Okay, so really close to Lake Ridge, you've got Blue Sky, which is a famed burger restaurant in Lubbock. There's a couple locations there. We love it. It's amazing. They're they're kind of all over West Texas, but you gotta go to Blue Sky if you come to Lubbock. You've got Back 40 Grill, Gators, both great places to watch games. Get you a nice hurricane or a freaking rummerita or whatever they drink in Cajun Land or at Back 40 Grill, get a hand hamburger, sit on a patio, smoke a cigar, watch a football game, a basketball game, do what you gotta do. Anyway, you are close enough to everything you would need to be close to in Lake Ridge. Okay, number two for best neighborhoods in Lubbock, we are going to Primrose Point. I love this neighborhood. Actually, my first ever YouTube clients bought a house in Primrose and shout out to them if they're, I know they're still watching. They rock, still keep in touch with them. But it is a solid area, absolutely solid area. You are right on 82nd Milwaukee. Everything new that happened in Lubbock in the past 10 years, the Funky Door, Picosos, Little Woodrow's, all those restaurants right there. If you're right on Milwaukee, 82nd, you go south, West, you're in Wolferth, not too far, like seven minutes away. If you go north of Primrose Point, northeast a little bit, you've got the West End. It's where you got Target, Ross, that shoe store that everyone loves. Big old shopping center, probably one of the biggest in Lubbock. That's very close by. And then of course, you've got all the new gas stations, the Tootin' Totems, the, all those are close by. And Primrose Point, I would say, is a lot more modest. The homes are gonna be smaller than Lake Ridge. Still pretty pricey because they're newer. I mean, you're looking anywhere between 1,800 to 3,000 square feet. Very modern looking 2005 to 2015 style house. Okay, number three, we are going to Bacon Crest, not bacon grease, not bacon fat, not bacon is yummy and I wanna eat it all the time. Bacon Crest, folks. I'd still got newer homes. It's it's a very fresh, refreshing place. The homes are, I would say, more established, bigger usually. You're not gonna find much that's not in the 400 range in Bacon Crest. Maybe high threes. It's had its homes featured in the Parade of Homes, which is this big thing that we put on every year where the new builders showcase all the new stuff they have. It's just a solid all around neighborhood. Like I said, close to everything else that we've talked about. It's close to Primrose Point, what we just talked about, but I would say it's a step up. So very solid all around neighborhood. Same restaurants close by, we can get into it. It'd be a little bit redundant. Okay, so number four, you know it. We've heard it, we love it. We we cannot get enough of it, we need it. That's Tech Terrace, folks. The Austin neighborhood of Lubbock, Tech Terrace. It is sweet. It's right across the street from the university. Old houses, a lot of feel, a lot of character, a lot of vibrance, lots of 
college students and professors alike live in the neighborhood and young adults and everything in between. You've got some older folks living there. You can find like the maybe wealthier uh, parents of who send their kids to tech will buy a house in Tech Terrace in like the really nice part and rent it out or have their kids pay rent. However they roll with their kids, they, they do what they gotta do. But it's just a really solid area. I personally love it. You've got Tech Terrace Park, Wagner Park. You can go play tennis at Wagner. You can go play volleyball at Tech Terrace. People have blankets out, guitars, flutes, violins, you name it, they got it. Great for walking, great for strolling. If you want something unique in Lubbock, you wanna buy something unique, look in Tech Terrace. It is a awesome neighborhood. It's worth driving around. Anytime I have clients come in and uh, they're interested in buying something, I always show them around Tech Terrace because it's at least worth seeing. People do say stuff about the crime relative to the area and and I would just say look at a map and yes, it is close to the university where there are always questionable things going on relatively. So keep that in mind. But all in all, I give it my vote of confidence. It's a, it is a great neighborhood. Okay, number five is gonna be Melanie Park. And Melanie Park, I it might be my favorite on the list, guys. It might be my favorite. It's very close to my office, in fact. I have a few friends that live in this neighborhood. It is relatively modest, but still very nice. I mean, there are parts where you can get a house for in the 200s, there are parts where you can get a house in the five to 700, maybe 800s. So, and that's how Lubbock tends to go. Like block by block can be extremely different. You just never really know what you're gonna get. It's also got a lot of trees in it, which we've discussed is very unique. Because of the trees, the fescue looks really pretty there. I know these are minute details, but you gotta hit them. I I'm just kind of a fan of like the updated floor plan of what people do when they flip a 1960s, 70s house where they have these wonky little living rooms and you know janky hallways what people have done to make these fresh and inviting and exciting is really cool still sectioning off maybe a little dining room where you have a fun wall in the middle with two doors it's not as open concept as everyone loves because chip and joanna Gaines have mind controlled the population and made it so that that's the best thing ever it's not it's like tech terrace's older richer stepdad i would say Okay, let's start with number one. And this is according to neighborhoodscout.com. These views may or may not be my personal opinions, but you'll never know because all I'm doing is reading off of a website right now. That's right, folks. Let's talk about Arnett Benson, okay? Arnett Benson, the median real estate price is around 115,000, which is less expensive than 92% of the Texas neighborhoods and 95% of all US neighborhoods. The houses in Arnett Benson are primarily made up of small studio to two bedroom to medium size, three bedroom kind of apartment style housing and single family homes. Uh, most of the real estate in Arnett Benson is renter occupied. Many of the residences in Arnett Benson are established but not old. So all in all, Arnett Benson is just something that I think you should look at um, yourself and the data probably supporting why it's maybe considered one of the worst neighborhoods. And I think just a general theme we're gonna have when we're going Going through these worst neighborhoods is going to be the fact that the crime that's the ugly elephant in the room it, it's not just an elephant it's an ugly elephant that's in the room hanging out with us that everyone thinks I avoid talking about because I want to and I want to just sell you on Lubbock well I have pretty serious legal implications about telling you where you can and cannot move so like I said all I can do is talk about the data and the stats and the facts and we can discuss you know the crime rates in these areas and those sorts of things which I think is the main deterrent for anyone moving into any neighborhood anywhere would be crime. And according to the data, Lubbock is a relatively dangerous city. However, just like anything that gives you data or stats, you gotta look at the context of everything. It would be easy for someone who's never even been to Lubbock to talk about it and say these things about it when they don't know the landscape, the layout, how everything is. You know, when a lot of people wanna say, oh, well, it's just the white people moving south, southwest, and yeah, yeah, and that's just not the case. You know, it's like everyone is generally moving in that direction, south, southwest, it's just 
it's the path of progress. So of course we're gonna be spending more time on the neighborhoods where people are wanting to move more than the ones that, you know, people aren't particularly interested in because of the crime. So Arnett Benson is gonna be number one. Number two is gonna be the heart of Lubbock. This one is just east of University by Tech Terrace. And this is why Tech Terrace gets on a lot of these lists oftentimes as well, is because the heart of Lubbock is a generally unsafe area and people in terms of crime rate per resident. And what I've seen personally is that folks might come over from there and be doing crimes in Tech Terrace or anywhere nearby. Okay, number three is going to be Jackson Mahone. I think that's how you say it. And it is right next to Arnett Benson. So you're gonna be having the same things that Arnett Benson had, but just a little bit over. It's just kind of northeast of the university. Yeah, crime rate is very high here. Definitely consider that in Neighborhood Scout. Let's look at, let's break down some data that Neighborhood Scout has on it and maybe do a fun AI generated Morgan Freeman voice reading some of the data. Sure, Andrew. Ladies and gentlemen, let me paint you a picture of Jackson Mann. The median real estate price here is nearly 78,000, which is less expensive than 95% of Texas neighborhoods and 90 6.2% of all U.S. neighborhoods. According to Neighborhood Scout, this neighborhood has a crime rate that is higher than 90.4% of the cities and towns in Texas. That's right, folks. Your chances of becoming a victim here are about as high as a Texas summer day. And violent crimes? Oh, we've got plenty. So keep your head on a swivel and maybe avoid late-night strolls. But it's not all doom and gloom, folks. Despite its reputation, Jackson Mann is a vibrant community with character. Just a bit more character than most. Number four is going to be the medical district. If you're seeing a common theme, you know that a lot of these neighborhoods are close to the university. And we know college students can be rambunctious and do crazy things. And I think that has something to do with it. Tech Terrace is wedged in between the heart of Lubbock and the medical district. And so naturally things happen. Sometimes it gets caught in the middle and crime occurs. Well, thank you so much for watching that one. I know we dug a little deep. We got down into it. If you're interested in moving, buying, investing, do whatever you want to do in Lubbock, selling, give me a call. My number is right here. I would love to hear from you. Shoot me an email, text, whatever you got to do. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Toodles.